Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your desktop icons, including how to arrange them on the screen and how to create desktop shortcuts to files, folders, and applications. Let's dig in. Okay, so here I am on my desktop, and you can see I have quite a few icons over here on the left-hand side. Now, the first thing I want to call out is that some of your desktop icons will have a little arrow in the bottom left corner of the icon. This indicates that this icon is a shortcut to the file that resides somewhere else on your computer. So for example, we have Google Chrome with the little arrow in the corner. That indicates that this is a shortcut to the executable file that will open up Google Chrome. Now, some of these other files do not have the little arrow in the corner. This indicates that this is an actual file and it is saved here on my desktop. Now, what does this mean? Why is this important? Well, if you were to delete a desktop icon shortcut with the little arrow, you will not be deleting the actual file that resides somewhere else on your computer. So be rest assured that if you delete a shortcut, you will not be deleting the main file. However, if you delete an item on your desktop that is the actual file and is not a shortcut, you will be sending that file to the recycle bin. So just be mindful of that. Now, let's talk about how to arrange your files on your desktop. You'll notice here that the files are neatly arranged in a grid along the left-hand side. If I right-click on my desktop, I can go here to View, and I can make some adjustments. I can change them to large icons, which are much more easier to see and find. Or I could go into View, and I could go with small icons, and this would allow me to have more icons on my desktop. I'm gonna stick with the medium size view. Now, also under the view setting, you'll find auto arrange icons. If you turn this on, your desktop icons will be automatically arranged and snapped into place. So for example, if I take an icon out and move it over here, it will snap back into place in the list. All right, let's go back into view and we'll turn off auto arrange. And here I will show you how to manually now move your icons around. So for example, I could take my icon, click, hold, and drag it and move it somewhere else on the desktop screen. Maybe I want these two PDF files to be dropped over here. I can go ahead and move those around freely. But you will notice that they do snap into place within this invisible grid. Now, if I right click and go back to view, you can see I can click Align Icons to Grid. I can uncheck that. And now I can be very precise in regards to where I place my icons. They will not be snapping into the grid. So for example, I could put this file right in between these two. Now this can become problematic when you are trying to find your desktop items. You really don't want them overlapping each other. So I'll go ahead and go back here to view and I will stick with aligning my icons to the grid. All right, also in our right click menu under view, you can actually turn off your desktop items so you don't see them at all. All right, the next thing here is sort by. You can sort your icons quickly by name, alphabetically. Let's try that out. And you can also go back in here and sort by file size or by item type. Let's try out item type sorting. All right, so here we can see that the desktop icons are sorted by file type. So we can see these PDF files are lumped together and our application shortcuts are lumped together here at the end of the list. Okay, back in our right-click menu, you can also sort by date modified. 
Okay, the other thing I wanna show you in here is the new option. So let's say you want to create your own shortcut to a file or an app on your computer. You can click here on new and go to shortcut. Here, you'll be given a screen where you can then browse to the file or application that you would like to create a shortcut for. In this case, I wanna create a shortcut to a folder in my OneDrive. So I'll go in there and I'll find my Brian Sensei folder. I'll go ahead and click on that and click OK. Then I'll click Next. And here you can see I have an opportunity to rename the shortcut and then I'll go ahead and click finish. And there we have it, a nice shortcut to a folder on my OneDrive. Now let's try that again. I'm gonna right click, go to new shortcut. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and browse to a file. Again, we'll go to the OneDrive and we'll go to the Rock School folder. And here we can see individual files I'll go ahead and make a shortcut to the annual staff party flyer and click OK. I'll click Next. And again, I can rename the shortcut and click Finish. And there it is. And again, we know it's a shortcut because it has the little arrow in the bottom left corner. If we do delete this, we will not be deleting the main file. Now let's try making a shortcut one more time but this time I wanna talk about making a shortcut to a Windows app. Now, if I right click and I go to new and I go to shortcut, I can browse here and I can find the executable file to the desired app. However, this is very tricky because you have to know how to go into this PC, to C drive, to program files. And there's you may have two program files on your computer and then you've got to find the app, and then you've got to find the .exe executable file to create your shortcut to. And that can be tricky to do, but it does work. So I want to show you an easier way to actually do this. And the way it works is you're going to come down to your start menu, and we're going to click on all apps. And here you can go down your list of all the apps on your computer. And once you find the app you would like, I'll go ahead and create a shortcut for camera. All I have to do is left click and hold and drag and drop. And boom shakalaka, it created a shortcut for me. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna go to start all apps. All right, let's go down here to Microsoft Teams for Home. I'll go ahead and left click and hold, drag and drop. All right, now a final way I wanna show for making shortcuts is through your file explorer. So I'll come down here to my folder and open the file explorer. And I'm gonna go ahead and browse to a file that I'd like to make a shortcut for. And I want this spreadsheet right here. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it. I'll go down here to show more options. And I'm gonna look for create shortcut. And there it is. Click there. Now you'll notice what it did was it created a shortcut within this folder. But what I can do is click and hold and drag this out to the desktop and boom shakalaka. We now have it living on our desktop. All right, and that is how you can manage your desktop icons. If you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.